In this screencast, I plan to give an overview of the basic features of the Blackboard Collaborate screen. It's likely that you're planning to take part in a webinar with us as part of an ASA meeting or an ASA training event. And if it's the first time you've used webinar software, we hope you'll find this screencast a useful overview of the layout of the screen. And I'll be highlighting some of the different ways in which you can interact with the presenter and the other participants. Now this is the main presentation area of the screen where the presenter will share with you perhaps some PowerPoint slides, they may upload a Word document or take you to some web pages. But that's the responsibility of the presenter so I'll not dwell on that part of the screen any longer. But I, I would like to talk through with you some of the basic features of this side panel. And let's look first at this white box that's headed main room. Now this is where the names of the participants will appear. Now I'm just recording this screencast at the moment so I'm, it's, I'm, only my name appears there. Now when you join a webinar it could well be that you could hear the presenter talking and perhaps the other participants but, and this is really vital, they won't be able to hear you until you click on this talk button. You see the little yellow pop-up says turn on the microphone. So if I click on that you'll see the microphone icon appears next to my name and if I click on it again the microphone icon goes. So when you've clicked on that talk button you can see that um, as here my voice is being registered on the slider bar so that means my voice uh, is being broadcast as part of the webinar. Now it may well be that the presenter asks everyone to turn their microphones off so that it's easier for him or her to manage the, the discussion. In which case if you want to ask a question or make a comment the easiest way to do that is just to click on this raise hand button here which then results in a little red marker appearing next to your name which indicates to the presenter and to the other participants that you want to, to contribute a comment or ask a question. But don't forget, no one will hear you unless you click on this talk button and then you'll see the microphone icon appear next to your name. It's very easy to forget that and we all do in the first uh, few occasions in which we take part in, in webinars. To get rid of that marker just click on the icon again and I'll just get rid of my microphone icon by clicking there. The next door to that is the video button and the presenter may or may not include a live video feed. I'll just show you how that works and you can see here that I'm sitting at my desk recording this screencast. Now the a live video feed does take up a fair bit of the broadband signal uh, which can make, make the broadcast slightly slow and um, what many presenters do is to click off the video and show um, a still photograph of themselves here. Now if you want to upload a picture yourself which will appear next to your name in the main room I'll just show you how to do that. You just click on this panel here that says open the participant options menu. Click on edit profile. Now, at the moment there's no picture there so if I click on change you then need to go to where you know you've got a picture. I know there's one. Um, if I just go to my pictures, I know there's one here. Bob, highlight that, click open, and click OK. You'll now see that there's a small picture of myself in the uh, in the panel at the top and also next to my name. So let me just talk through with you some of the other buttons that you have. You'll see here that occasionally the presenter may ask you to give some feedback to um, the content in which case you could um, either show approval by clicking one of these little buttons here. You'll see that these little uh, emoticons last for about five or six seconds. Um, little smiley face there. So they just last for a few seconds and then they vanish. 
it could be that you need uh, just to step out of the room, um, uh, pause uh, for a quick break or to answer the uh, answer the phone, in which case there's an option here for you to indicate that you have just stepped away from the session. So you can see here um, that message appears next to your name. Again, like all of these functions, if you just click that again, you'll see that that message um, disappears. Now, sometimes presenters may include a little voting option, in which case this little button here gives you an opportunity to respond to a little voting option uh, one way or the other. And at the bottom of this uh, panel, you'll see a little chat pane here. Now, this can be really useful if you're having uh, any problems with the audio, because this will uh, This enables you to add a little message to the, the chat pane. So it's a way of getting information to the presenter and to other uh, people in the, the webinar uh, in a, a, a little chat message format. Now, this, if you are having any problems, um, you'll find that all of our ACER webinars are staffed by uh, two people so that the presenter, if they notice someone's having difficulties with the, their audio settings, um, they can ask a colleague uh, to give you a call on, uh, on a landline or on your mobile phone. So there'll always be someone there who can take time out uh, to give you a hand with any difficulties that you may have once the presenter is able to continue with the webinar. It's possible if you've got um, lots of people taking part in the uh, webinar and you it, it could be that there could be up to 10 or 12 people taking part in a, a webinar, if not more. You can collapse these little panels if you just click there and you can also collapse this little panel at the top to give you more space to show all the people taking part in that webinar. So to, just to reinstate those panels, you just click there and click there again. So those are the main features that uh, I wanted to share with you. There are other um, uh, buttons here that you may have seen here. These are uh, buttons that control uh, the tools that you would use on this, this whiteboard. And they're very similar to the, the features, the functions that you would have on an interactive whiteboard in terms of selecting an object, selecting an object, um, drawing on the screen, adding text. Uh, we may cover those in a follow-up. Um, screencast, uh, but those functions are principally used by the presenter when they are um, using the whiteboard feature or annotating kind of PowerPoint slides. Hope that's been useful as an introduction to the main features of the uh, of the Blackboard Collaborate screen.